I may be the reason Tunubu is not sworn in. Erofa shocks Nigerian as he sends strong threats ahead of Tunubu's swearing in. Oh, Erofai. 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 Is he not an APC uh, governor? So why is he now taking a strange decision against Tunubu? And why is he saying that he may be the reason why he's not sworn in? You can now see that even in the APC, they are not even um they, they are not they, they 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 never agreed with the using or the choosing of Tunubu as the flag bearer representing APC as presidency. And uh, looking looking at this I will say that Erofai is one of those that didn't agree with it. With what he has just said, it is very clear that um, he doesn't want Tunubu to be president. Um, from this content, Erufa have said that he doesn't mind that within the short period that he has to spend in this office, he can make life unbearable for citizens just to make sure that Tunubu is not sworn in. He said he doesn't mind to demolish structures so that people will know that, yes, APC is like this. <laughs> this man a madman. All right, let's check the context and know what he's trying to say. This is Morning News. Governor Nasser Erufai of Kaduna State has expressed his unwavering commitment to terminate this service of individuals who exhibit misconduct within his government. Furthermore, he has pledged to demolish structures that fails to meet acceptable standard until his term comes to a close. I may be the reason why Tunubu will not be installed or sworn in, probably because of my attitude to this government. This resolute statement was made during a book presentation dedicated to Governor Erufai on Saturday, May 20th, as reported by the nation. The book entitled Putting the People First was authored by Emmanuel Addo, a renowned journalist and public commentator, providing valuable insight into Governor Erufai's leadership style and approach, as noted by the leadership report. Governor Erufai emphasized the necessity of rectifying any prevailing issues to ensure that future governors will not have to undertake the same burdensome tasks. With an unwavering commitment to excellence, he declared that his administration will continue to dismiss individuals engaged in detrimental activities and eradicate structures that fail to meet acceptable standards. This determination will persist until the 11th hour signifying the end of his tenure. Governor Erufai's word signify his firm resolve to uphold the principles of good governance and provide a conducive environment for the people of Cardona State. By maintaining strict standards of conduct and ensuring infrastructure soundness, he aims to leave a lasting legacy for his successors the governor dedications to removing corrupt elements and substandard structures underscores his determination to create a prosperous and driven state. As Governor Erufai remains steadfast in his mission, the people of Kaduna State can anticipate continued effort to cleanse the government of any form of misconduct and eliminate physical structures that do not meet the required standards. With the governor's unyielding commitment, Kaduna State is poised to experience significant improvement and progress as it moves forward under the stewardship of future leaders. Uh, my people, Nasa Erufai, I will say, 
is yet another Nissan Wiki. In fact, he's a very blunt um, person anyway. But then I will say that taking this action of demolition and all of that shouldn't um, shouldn't uh, be a way of retaliation, please. Because it is the people that you are killing and not Tsunobu. You understand? Uh, he said uh, uh, you are going to destroy and demolish any property that doesn't meet up to standard. That is not how a government operates. That's why till today I will keep you know appreciating the government of um, Raji Fashola, Babatunde Raji Fashola. In fact, that guy is too much. His government in Lagos actually you know post um, post. Uh, an example to other upcoming governor instead of taking or oh, taking uh, the property away from their owners you know who doesn't have money to give it a standard what he did is he developed he demolished and rebuilt then he handed the property over to the government for some years you know the, the government now came in as a developer to the owner of the property you know Rebuilt the, rebuilt the structure, you know, after then the government takes over it for some years to recover their, their money back before handing the property back to the to the owner. You know, so, so the property is not completely taken away from those people, but the government helped them to repair the property, you know, took over it for some time to, you know, to... Uh, recruit recoup their, their their income before handing it over back to the owners it is that's a very good uh, way of uh, of acting you know not by taking it completely from the owners it doesn't pose a very a good example so um in as much as i will st still really appreciate your government i will say that this decision of yours is still very is too strict and we will not um, give a very good record of you when you leave office when you are leaving try to leave uh, a legacy behind and make sure that uh, the people say something very good about you you understand and that is just it so my my people not don't hear i'm exactly from uh uh nasa aerofi <laughs> this man in mount nidi 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 uh nidi close he is a very blunt person he says it the way he feels that he is supposed to say it all right um you've had it already let's know what your what your take is let's know what your observations are don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well Ask the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.